Imagine a person with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities existing entirely on their own. Questions that trouble philosophy, such as, is this person human? Do they have moral worth, personhood, dignity, would not arise because these questions, these concepts, only arise in the relationship between people. They are between things. We have always asked these questions in terms of a judgment about one of the people in this relationship, as if they were existing entirely on their own. We ask what qualifies them to be human, what qualifies them to have moral worth, personhood, dignity. And in focusing our judgments on them, we overlook that this and these things are relational experiences. And I wonder whether if we spent some time looking at the other half of that relationship, whether we might be able to fill in some gaps in philosophy. I don't think we would get an answer to what qualifies someone as human, as having moral worth. But I find when I approach those questions, I tend not to be thinking about the other person. I tend to be thinking about me and whether I want to be somebody who considers them as having moral worth. Whether I am someone who views them as persons, who views them as dignified and deserving of dignity. So maybe there is a balancing out to be done.